A decreased libido or sexual dysfunction is definitely one of the higher ranking topics that uh, patients tend to not necessarily bring up with a physician. It, in our practice, we actually have a questionnaire and that is one of the questions. They just have to bubble it in. And so sometimes if they can just bubble something in and write it down, uh, then the physician can bring it up. And sometimes that's kind of a little bit better of an icebreaker. Uh, at least that's what I have found in our practice to, to be able to then bring that discussion to the forefront and discuss it more. But let's say you go to someone who doesn't have that little bubble sheet, <laughs> then um, you just need to simply say, I have a concern. Part of it, of course, for a woman to discuss it with her physician is going to be the sense of trust, feeling comfortable with being able to discuss that with, with their uh, physician. And gynecologists do deal with this quite a bit, so I think they're uh, a good um, physician to, to discuss with. Uh, you know, primary care physicians as well maybe want to just um, initiate the conversation and uh, if, if their primary care physician um, doesn't feel comfortable or uh, um, suggests more expert opinion, then they can refer on. You know, it is embarrassing, but women have to just get past that because this will potentially impact their future.